Hello and welcome back everyone. Into the 16th video, we're going to talk about breaks and continue. Okay, break and continue. So, you know, what are breaks and what is a continue function? The contents are going to be about break condition, example of that condition, continue condition and example of that condition as well. Okay, let's start. So you have already seen break statement used earlier in this chapter where we use it in switch cases. Okay. So, you know, <clears throat> the basic idea remains that you want to jump out of the situation. Okay. You want to jump out of the program. That's where you use a break condition. Now, <coughs> the break statement can also be used to jump out of a loop, okay, in case you want to jump out of a loop, a loop, you can do that. Now, let's see and let's see how this is helpful, okay. So, let's move on to the part where we see an example. Now, over here, what is happening is, uh, you have a program where you are going to, you know, maintain the code and your code is basically being executed and you want to break after this line happens okay you want to break after this line happens so you put it over there okay so you have a main for loop which is bounded like this now for understanding purposes i'm going to transfer this code to my vs code so that it's easy okay now let me just set the spacings up as well okay um which is going to make it very clear okay um this is uh, this is where it goes Now, if you see, uh, VS Code is technically very, very helpful. So, you know, what, what it's doing is, my for loop is basically starting from here to here, and this is basically the end of the program. So this is what I don't really need to care about. What I need to care about is this if condition, okay? Now, this if condition talks about this break. Now, it this break is says, you know, if i is equal to four, you know, it, it should come out of the, uh, it should come out of the block. Now, why is it helpful? It is helpful when you want to use dynamic variables um, in case you know you, your variables are too much and in case your variables are not you know you want to make sure that there is a center point where you can take the program out you can use a break condition so you know if you see over here the moment it reaches 4 it executed out and you know you have your output so the main idea remains the same that you know you, you are in a loop and you are executing everything that is required in a loop the only difference is that you are basically allowing and giving the freedom to execute out and execute away from the program you know you can break it out of the program and that is like really powerful i think that's like really important as well at a lot of times so this is how you go about it and this is how you revolve around the central idea of using the break so i hope you had a great understanding experience and i hope you understood how break is helpful uh, let's move on to the next part where we are going to talk about conditions okay continue condition so the continue statement breaks one iteration in the loop so it breaks one iteration in the loop so and if a specified condition occurs the continue is accounted the jump to the loop into the next iteration so you know if uh, this thing is executed i wanted to jump to the next one so continue